Now, before we sing our final hymn, which may just have a Welsh tune attached to it this morning, I'd like to invite um, Gareth, who um, said he would just like to say a few words on his first visit to us for 18 months or more. So, Gareth, come up to the mic. I'll just give you, give you a little more height. To, uh... Oh, and Viv's coming as well. Lovely. Shall we welcome them properly? Yeah, isn't it lovely to have them? Just <laughs> unmasked. <laughs> you don't know what a privilege it is for me to be standing here this morning. Viv is looking at me, my partner, waiting for me to burst into tears. <laughs> But I'm not an emotional Welshman. No, of course not. Oh, no. <laughs> I have spent the last 18 months or so, or so in this church because <coughs> it has been my spiritual home for that time, for 18 lonely months with only Viv to talk to. I actually face the other way normally. <laughs> because the camera is there. But I know every visible pillar, banner, cross, carving, and stained glass window. I know my place facing the altar from a lofty position in the ceiling, or sometimes angled to this lectern with a choir in the background. Morning, Rex, my dear friend in the corner. Or switched sometimes to the pulpit reserved for bishops and rectors. But I have not been alone. I have shared this online position with those I know only by code names. Some of you may recognize them. Megan Megan. Top fan Sheena Jeffries. Barbie Keenan. Val Rose, Beryl and Colin in Drayton. Dwayne Lister in Cyprus, and the beautifully named Annalise Lewis de Lang. Beautiful. We voyeurs are the out of towners, perhaps the lost sheep who may have wandered, the locked down warriors, the online congregation who have shared worship with you without leaving their safe and comfortable homes. I don't know if you in your normal service are aware of the people that are sharing this service with you. And it can run into hundreds, I'm told. So that's why it's a privilege to be here. Some I know online, I've been to this church in colourful pyjamas and they've shared bread with you, occasionally with marmite and marmalade. <laughs> so for almost 18 months, since March the 10th, 2020, I've been an online member of Saints Faiths, missing only two of the live Thursday and, so and Sunday services. There is, if there is one thing you can rely on from a Baptist, it is loyalty. <laughs> For those 18 months, this church with its team, the rector Canon Tom and the supportive wife Claire, along with the lay pastor Sandra Hagen and musical director Graham Kidd, 
have been an inspiration to those of us confined to our homes in lonely lockdown. You have sometimes been our only contact with the outside world. Through an iPad with an eight inch screen or some other piece of technology, it, it, you helped us to concentrate our minds and thoughts on the most important things, such as worship, praise, thanksgiving, and Christian love. Through this contact, your online worshipers have overcome loneliness, maybe fears, doubts, and even sometimes our self-belief. That is why I welcome the opportunity to thank those who have brought us through dark moments into the light of God's love. Now I've thought long and hard in my pyjamas on how I personally could show gratitude when words are insufficient. As a Welshman from the land of song, I suppose I could sing to you, but the notes would be there, not necessarily in the right order. <laughs> so I will leave that to the choir, particularly when they sing a Welsh hymn or the Lord's Prayer, sung to the tune that I sang in school. That invariably brings tears to my eyes as it did this morning. Now this is the moment when I was going to invite the organist, Graham, to come and face his audience and join with me while I explain something to you. We have a tradition in Wales of giving a carved love spoon as a gesture of thanks and appreciation. Usually, a suitor carves the spoon from a single piece of wood and presents it to the girl of his choice. The presentation uh, I would have made this morning to Graham, but he's elsewhere, is a wooden spoon with a treble clef. My assistant will now <laughs> bring it forward. Just for you to see, this is the, the, the travel clef symbol, which was for Graham. And I was going to say, it does not mean, Graham, that we are now married. <laughs> it just means a thank you for your contribution to the services we have enjoyed and for arranging the midweek recitals. Would you accept this, please, on his behalf and pass it to him? I will indeed. I Thank should be you. surprised if he's not listening right now. I hope he is. I hope you're there, Graham. Depends on what he's doing with his day off, but um, <laughs> I shall point him to your speech anyway. But thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and so we come to Sandra Hagen. You people, by the way, are being very, very patient with me. But I'd like to continue my thoughts with a reference to Sandra, our solo bell ringer. We do see you moving forward to do it. Um, and we know what contributions that you have made. So I'm gonna ask you, Sandra, would you please join me here? Come on, come on down, as they say. Thank you. Don't be shy, I know you are. <laughs> Uh, let me say, from our lofty positions, we see you stage managing the rule book. <laughs> the rule book, the com book of common prayer. Prompting, we noticed recently, even wise bishops, when they had lost their way and missed out something important. Sandra came to the rescue. I don't know whether you all see this when it happens, but we see it from up there. <laughs> Your love spoon, which I say is carved from a piece, one piece of wood, has a heart, 
to show Christian love and the cross of faithfulness. Thank you very much. Finally, we come to Mr. Motivator, <laughs> Canon Tom, and if she is here, his supportive wife, Claire. She helped. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I only remember the name Claire. I only remember Claire's hand, because when they were doing the services from her home, Occasionally, you see a hand coming into the picture. <laughs> Hello, Claire. <laughs> yeah. So, Mr. Motivator, we have a gift for you as well. It's another wooden spoon. Normally, these are reserved for Welsh rugby players. But this one in particular, I think is symbolic of the man that we are and the audience at home, the congregation at home, are honor honoring today. I, I do feel I am representing them in this way. Um, I don't know whether others have been able to join the services since, but as I say, it's, it's a privilege to be here. This one is a gift a uh, symbolic carved spoon with, in this case, intertwining hearts for your husband and the, for the husband and wife. And s obviously surmounted by the cross. The spoon end was for the suitor, given to the bride-to-be, and she used it to eat soup or cowl or something of that nature. What I would like to say to you and the team, which is why I'd like you to stay, to say thank you to the team for encouraging your flock, for making us part of your worship, and for leading us through some difficult times. Would you like to give them a wave at home for me? They are watching out there. They are watching. This lineup of people, and Graham, I w I'd like to ask can you hear the applause? Can you hear applause? Can you hear applause? You will hear the online Church of St. Faith's applauding. They are the unmasked Megan Megan, Lyndon Ford, top fan Sheena Jeffries, Viv Francis is with us, Dave Miles may be there, Patricia Greeley in Sarasota, Florida, my cousin Linda in Sydney, Australia. Vera Ainsworth in Pembrokeshire, and hundreds of others. I'm all saying, thank you for your services, and God bless you both. Thank you, Gareth, very much indeed. We're very touched by your kind words. Although I have to have to just comment, is that what a Welshman means by a few words? Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, okay. 